The goal of this video is to show how to monitor the traffic between a web service client and the web service. Here we have the standard situation. On the left here we have our web server that is listening on port 8080 and he gets request from the echo client and by sending SOAP messages and receiving SOAP messages. So what we actually want to do is somehow monitor what is going to happen here. Uh, one way of doing this is by introducing um, a TCP monitor in between the communication between this client and the server. To do this one has to make sure that now the client is talking to the TCP monitor, so wherever the TCP monitor running, usually it's on the same uh, computer as on the as the client in in our case localhost. So we would want to connect the client to the TCP monitor and the TCP monitor to the web server. Now let's start with our example that we had from last week which is our hello service client and just to make sure that the hello service client actually works we run our test and we see everything is green that is we have started our glassfish server we have deployed everything so everything works now now this is the situation where the client directly talks to the TCP, uh, not to the TCP monitor, but to the service. Now we would like to talk to the TCP monitor. So the first step, what we have to do is to download the, the TCP monitor, and that can be done on the web page. Go to instructions, observing the traffic between client and server, and using TCP monitor, and then you can download the access.jar file, we save the link in our home directory and then we can start the TCP monitor by executing now I have to look up the class name it's java minus class path Axis.jar and org Apache Axis Utils TCP Mon. This will start our TCP monitor. And what we do, we have to do in our TCP monitor, we have to listen to requests coming from the Echo Client application. So we have to listen on port 8070 which is here 8070 and the target port should be of course so all the messages received via the 8070 should be targeted to the web server and in our case the web server resides again on localhost on port 8080 but if you uh, do one of the exercises then you use uh, remote web services and so the target host name will be not uh, the IP address for the local host but somebody, el uh, somebody else and the port number might be different. You will get this information and I'll show you uh, how from uh, the WSDL file. So in our case, but this is fine, so we say add and now we listen to uh, uh, request coming from the port 8070. So we also say we want to see XML format because then we have a nice formatting of the input. Now we go back here to our uh, NetBeans. Now if we now run this again then we don't see anything nothing is happening here and the reason of course is that we still 
have echo service client calling directly the 8080 port. So we have to first change the client stuff so that it points to port 8070. Now how we do this? To do this we uh, have to first download the WSDL file and the WSDL file we can get from the uh, Glassfish application server under web services. Here we have our Hello World web service and we can actually say save link as and we save it and we add just WSDL now we have saved it we can then go and look at the WSDL file and uh, I could probably use a different editor so it's still not very nice but we have to go down to a field that is called here soap address this is the address where the client calls the web service. So here we see it's localhost because it's one of our services that we offer uh, locally and the port is 8080. You will have different types of uh, hosts and ports with other services. But in our case what we have to just do is replace the port uh, localhost 8080 uh, 80 by 8070 to use the TCP monitor. So we save the file. Uh, so we save the file and now we can use that file to create a new web service client stuff. To do this we first have to remove the existing one. So in the client, we go to Hello World Service Service and remove that, delete. And now we create a new web service client. And now we use it from a local file, and this is the file we've just changed. So it's Hello World. Uh, okay, this let's go down to you. Sorry to users. Ah, uh, hope, and then we have the service file here. We open it and we finish our service now ws import is called again on the new file and now uh, our project has been built and we actually can run the test again and hopefully it works yes it still works but now what we actually should be seeing is that the communication went through the tcp monitor and here we can see the communication here we can see the request. Here the first part is uh, belongs to the HTTP protocol. The second part belongs to the web services protocol. It's the SOAP message. And you can see the answer. Again, this part is part of the HTTP protocol. And that is the SOAP answer.